1988. This is the video of Joseph Gordon of 3170 Bayou Sound, Longboat Key, Florida, made in order to commemorate the 10th anniversary of the Jewish Community Center of Amherst. Hello, I'm Joe Gordon. I'm a native of Amherst, Massachusetts, and I now live in Sarasota, Florida. The uh, occasion of the 10th anniversary of the uh, Jewish community of Amherst is uh, quite an accomplishment, particularly to me uh, who uh, grew up in Amherst as the only Jew uh, in the school system and one of the few Jews in town. Uh, I came to Amherst with my parents in 1927. Uh, my parents established the Amherst Cleaners, uh, which was in operation for more than 50 years. Uh, my mother came from Williamstown, Massachusetts, and my father from Springfield. Uh, and uh, I came along in 1924, and they started the cleaning business a few years later. I grew up in Amherst, uh, the only Jew in the entire school system. Uh, I went right from first grade right through high school without knowing another Jewish child in school. So you can see it's quite a difference uh, for me to, to see a Jewish congregation in Amherst thriving as it is. As a matter of fact, uh, 10 years ago uh, when uh, your group uh, bought uh, the old congregational church, uh, my mother was so excited that uh, on my very next visit, uh, she had to bring me down there uh, to show me that the school had, uh, that the group had purchased uh, and had established uh, here in Amherst. What was it like to, uh, to live uh, in Amherst in those days? Well, I don't claim to be the uh, first Jewish uh, child. Uh, I know that uh, uh, there were other uh, Jewish families, uh, two or three or four other couples. Uh, unfortunately, uh, because of the press of business and so forth, my parents didn't have very much to do with the other Jewish families, the, the Landises and the Novaks, who were incidentally in a similar type business of cleaning and, and uh, tailoring and of that sort. And I didn't know them, uh, didn't know them at all. Uh, and there were very, very little social contact. Uh, we uh, had a, a kosher home for many, many years. My uh, parents would get their meat in Hoyo for Springfield, and uh, that continued until uh, the early 40s when uh, my grandparents died and my parents uh, were relieved of the obligation of keeping a kosher home in case uh, they, uh, they ever visited. However, uh, we did keep a kosher style or Jewish type home, and I keep that to this day. My Jewish education was uh, rather uh, simple. Uh, my parents wanted me to have a Jewish education, and as a result, they would hire Jewish students from uh, what was then the Massachusetts Agricultural College, or the Mass State College, that was later known. Uh, and they would come and teach me a little bit. And finally, uh, they were able to hire a rabbi who was in uh, Northampton to come over and teach me. So I do, I do know Hebrew, and I knew I did know uh, at the time of my bar mitzvah the basis of uh, the Jewish religion. And I have kept that, and I have married Jewish, and my children have remained uh, Jewish uh, to this day. Uh, and I am very happy about that. And of course, my parents uh, were extremely happy uh, that I was able to carry this on in spite of the meager uh, the meager uh, 
education that I did have. I remember, incidentally, certain things I remember uh, so much of uh, going uh, to the Jewish sections of, of, of uh, Holyoke and of Springfield and uh, buying food there, uh, particularly uh, on Passover time. And I remember uh, also so much of my father uh, buying uh, live chickens uh, at the farmers in the uh, surrounding town, uh, town or area of Amherst. And uh, on a evening uh, after work, uh, he would load those chickens in a, in a burlap, burlap bag into the uh, a truck and uh, he would go down to usually Holyoke, which was where they had a uh, permanent rabbi, and uh, find the sheikhs and have the, uh, the uh, chickens killed. And I remember so well how those chickens would go into the house uh, kicking and squirming in that bag and come back uh, as a piece of dead meat. And uh, those memories uh, still linger with me, particularly uh, the uh, cleaning of the chickens uh, by my mother and the burning of the feathers. And every time I smell protein uh, hair burning now, I think of those early days. Well, I went through the uh, school uh, system of Amherst, and uh, I was uh, graduated from Amherst, College, uh, Amherst High School in the year of in the class of 1941. I uh, immediately applied to Amherst College and was accepted. In, those, in that year, as I remember it, it was the first year that Amherst College extended full scholarships to uh, all of the male students of the Amherst school system and uh, there were maybe a half a dozen or more of us at that time who entered Amherst. Uh, it was a rather solitary time to be at Amherst College in uh, the 1940s. There were no uh, Jewish fraternities. Uh, there were no Jews or very few Jews who were uh, accepted at uh, in any of the university uh, in uh, any of the college uh, uh, fraternities, uh, they uh, only those of uh, great wealth or prominence were accepted, and I can remember a few of those. But in our class, there were uh, ten to twenty Jews um, who uh, belonged to what was then the Lord Jeff Club. Uh, that was uh, a group of Jews and uh, others who uh, either were not uh, capable or of a high enough social uh, standing to uh, belong to fraternities, or uh, those who uh, just didn't want to belong. And I'm very proud that among those and among our Jewish friends were men who now have obtained considerable fame. But uh, it was a solitary life at Amherst uh, College in those days as well. We did uh, have the, the Jewish uh, uh, Hillel in Smith College, and we would go down there uh, on occasion. But there was nothing at Amherst. During my uh, junior high and high school days, uh, and even before then, even in grade school, uh, my parents wanted me to have some Jewish, uh, edu not education, but uh, uh, friends of people, uh, Jewish children to, to mingle and be with. And as a result, uh, they were very, uh, Concerned, and they sought out uh, Jewish camps, Jewish style camps. They were not the Ramah camps, but they were camps of uh, mainly of, uh, populated by Jewish children from uh, New York. And 
I went to summer camp for all the two month period uh, for uh, many, many years until practically college. And it was a very good experience for me as well. I went to Amherst, as uh, I mentioned. I was uh, uh, a junior Phi Beta Kappa. Uh, I graduated with honors in chemistry and uh, went on after serving a couple of years in the war. Uh, I went uh, to the University of Illinois where I obtained a PhD in organic chemistry and then from there worked uh, for major uh, chemical companies uh, throughout uh, the eastern United States. I retired in 1957 uh, pardon me, 1981 at the age of 57 uh, and uh, re went uh, relocated in Sarasota, Florida. Uh, this was all a, a very good move for us. Uh, we, uh, I got married, uh, got married in 1947 uh, to a, a nice young Smith girl. Uh, and we have uh, now three sons uh, and four grandchildren. Uh, one son living in Boston, one in Syracuse, and one uh, nearer to us in St. Petersburg, Florida. So it's been a very full life. We live a quite Jewish life. Uh, I think it's important to realize as many people uh, have probably pointed out, you don't have to be totally enmeshed in a, uh, a Jewish uh, environment in order to live a Jewish life. And this is what we have done. I married a woman who is uh, very knowledgeable and who has helped me uh, in my uh, observance and in my faith. And I think that was a key, uh, a key factor in my present status. But I look back to now to what you have here in Amherst, and I salute you for what you are doing. And I wonder uh, where you will be in 10 and 20 years from now. I wish you the best, and I hope that uh, you are successful in all that you do. Thank you. Uh, this uh, concludes the interview with Joseph Gordon of 3170 Bayou Sound, Longboat Key, Florida. When you are through with this tape, I would appreciate if you would send it back to me. The address is on the label. Thank you very much.